Hey everyone, it's Jason again, and yet again, uh, we're back on Elevate, and we're going to do some more uh, game sessions, training exercises, and we'll see how we get on. I, I'm always reluctant to choose the math ones when I'm on this, because, as you know, it's kind of a bit under a bit of pressure, so things can go really, really wrong, as they do when trying to do calculations whilst on camera. But we'll give this a try. Now, with equivalence, what you have... Are you giving, uh, well, you know, there are three uh, representational forms in which um, numbers can be expressed. You can have decimals, fractions, and <laughs> and like a uh, like a, a visual chart, such as like a pie, and like maybe it's cut in half. Okay, so to be honest, there's also percentages, but I don't know if this one shows percentage, percentages, but that would make four. Um, but anyway, they're all um, expression proportions. Um, and these proportions can be equivalent. Uh, the decimal of 0 0.5 is equivalent to a half or equivalent to <laughs> a half, as if it were like half of a pi, um, or even equivalent to, say, um, 50 out of 100. So it's sort of like that, you'll see. You have to match them up anyway, pair them off. So we'll show you. Okay, so clearly that's a quarter of that. That's like 0.65 is a quarter of that. Uh, four fifths, so there are four fifths there, so that pairs off. If one of them doesn't pay where there's odd numbers, as the case. That's 20%, and that one is 1 30 of 195. Uh, let's say there's a, a third uh, here. Okay, so we've got a quarter and a half, so... Uh, well, that's obviously a half, and there's a quarter, so deal with the easy ones first, I always say. Uh, we have a six there anyway, and um, that looks like a six to me. Uh, three eighths, that's, there we go, three eighths. Uh, that's, uh, okay, 75%. That's two thirds, just as that is. Uh, uh, a sixth, again, um, that's an eighth, oh, bloody hell. Is that a tenth? Uh, well, that's a tenth there, and that looks like the sixth. Uh, okay, seventy-five percent, a quarter. Uh, yep. Okay, so three thirds, two two thirds, two thirds. Okay, uh, bloody hell. Um, no, that's a sixth, isn't it? Which is um. <laughs> oh shit! Three eighths. That's three eighths, and that one's two thirds. See, as I said, trying to do maths in your head on this isn't always easy. Yeah, three eighths and, and that was two thirds. Okay, well, uh, two thirds, uh, three eighths. Fuck! Three fifths, three eighths. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, there we go. So, if you get them wrong, it can basically close the game down. Oh, stupid. Oh, I'm so pissed off. Only great job. That might be enough to make me lose points. Let me have a look. You know, I've gained two points there, but I think if I go here now and I go into my before uh, lock, I've gone down in my maths. If we go to the maths section here, okay. I've gone. Everyone, I'm sorry for that interruption. That's oh my gosh, stupid thing. Okay. So, have we done diction before? Well, we've done spelling, so let's do diction. Diction is the, the way in which you most eloquently express your meaning, uh, choosing the really right word, and also making sure that the words um, agree. Um, you'll see what I mean by that, actually, what I mean by agree. So here we go. This is about agreement. The cheese I bought today tastes bad. It's not badly. It's bad. Why did I put it as valid? Okay, I'm restarting because I obviously did say it was bad. Um, I pressed the wrong one. The aid worker happily and tearfully, it should say, so that's wrong. Uh, we had fewer than so if it was less. Now, because this is a discrete quantity, that's correct. If it was a continuous, it would be less. Uh, they uh, presented the award to Professor Woolf, an eminent researcher. Well, that's clearly wrong because it's eminent. After this morning's encounter with a skunk, my dog smells bad. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, positions in football include four forwards, defenders. Okay, that's... A midfielder and oh god, um, no, because it's it's gone to the singular. Since I remembered the call, mum won't mind that her birthday card will arrive belatedly. Yeah, that'd be right. So there you have it. You saw what happened there. I'm sorry, the slightest flushing. 
Only good job. See what bloody bad effect it has if I'm talking whilst doing it. It just, it doesn't go that well. Processing. We've done processing before. Oh, there's a fun one. Wait till we do the division. You'll love that. I must apologise. I had a light above me that was flickering. Division's really fun. Essentially, you have this number at the top and then you have to divide it. Watch. Divided by eight, so that is... Uh, 200, oh god, what am I doing? 208, that's correct. Uh, oof. 30, 37. Um, 83. Uh, ooh. Mm. Mm, 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 30. 32. <laughs> um, mm, it's harder. It's 200 and, oh God, 208. Uh, 208. Okay. Okay. S Seventeen. Ooh, that's weird. Um. Fifty nine. And so there you just saw the example of um, a division. So that was really good. I do hope you enjoyed that last session. As I say, trying to do maths on this isn't my strong point, actually. <laughs>